Hi everyone, this is Jessica Jean Akimson. We are the Group 1. Our situation is the foreign and local tourists will have a tour in the province of Leyte. But in the middle of the tour, there has been a commotion happened between foreign and local tourists. The question is, how will the tour guides handle the problem? Let's find out on the video. Your attention, please. Please do not smoke in the terminal building. Smoking is only permitted. Bonjour, bonjour, ma upay na adlaw. Good morning, tourists. I am Grace. And I am Paul. From Torino Travel and Tours, we will be your companion for today's trip. The province that is home to the Kalangaman Island and its powdery sand beach, the San Manico Bridge, also known as the longest bridge in the Philippines, a historical World War II site, is also a top destination for diving, waterfalls, and more stunning beaches. A versatile when it comes to tourist destination. Welcome to the province of Leyte. I just like to say that Mr. Sun is smiling at us right now. Fantastic, very cooperative weather. Before we begin our trip, may I have everyone to please lend me your ears. Please be reminded of the health protocols, guidelines, and precautions for a safe, smooth flowing trip. First, remember the letter S. It will stand for synchronize. You have to synchronize your time with mine so that no one will be left behind, okay? Are you done setting your time, tourists? All right. Time check. It is already 7:55 in the morning. Second is I. I have here a whistle and a flaw, which means that if I whistle once, your time starts to roam around the vicinity and enjoy the picturesque view. But if I whistle twice, and you can see our flag raised like this, it means tourists that your time has ended and you had to gather at the center to have. And we can head off back to the bus to go to our next destination. Third is letter G. It will stand for group. You have to practice the body body system with other tourists so that no one will get lost during our tour. S is B, which means backpack. We get you covered, we get all the essentials. Found for a kid, toiletry, and alcohol for everyone's safety. We are not asking, but we got it all for you guys. If you need anything else, Finally, letter N for no trace behind. A good traveler will respect the nature and cultural heritage of the place by not doing any harm to it. Are you excited? Because I am too. But first, let's have a temperature check and a countdown, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20. Perfect. Let's go to our first destination. Welcome to our first destination. Welcome to MacArthur London Memorial Park, commonly known as MacArthur Park. It's one of the latest significant landmarks. It is where the famous Rome statue of General Douglas MacArthur is found, which commemorates his historic return to the island of Leyte on the early afternoon of October 1944, built along with the statue of the brave general or his landing Filipinos companions, then President Sergio Usmania, General Carlos Romulo, and four other soldiers. Because of the park's significance in the history of the Philippines, the same has been declared as a national historical landmark in the year 2004. Inscribed in the marble wall in front of the bronze statues is General MacArthur's promise to return, which have been kept in the hearts of the Filipinos, especially Litenios. Indeed, a well-preserved promise, while it has already been fulfilled, it still gives hope to the present generation. Okay, now you have 30 minutes to enjoy the picturesque view. Enjoy, everyone! One for girls and one for boys. Let's have a count. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, 19. Someone is not here yet. Let us wait for a few minutes. Okay, tourists. Hey, I'm sorry, sorry I'm late. I got lost and my phone was lost also. So I found my phone first. Fortunately, I found it. Oh, thanks God. I really don't have sense of direction. I'm really sorry, but I'm already here. So did I miss Amy? Oh yes. You are wasting our time, you know. We've been here for almost 10 minutes. What are you thinking of? You are such an irresponsible tourist. I already said sorry. I didn't wish to lost my phone. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, okay? Guys, the weather is very good today, so let's enjoy our trip. Since we are all complete, let's hop into the bus and let's go to our next destination, okay? Okay. <laughs> I am so sorry to see you upset by this. This was no plan. We have a lot of destination to go to. Let's enjoy this trip now. Okay, okay. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Okay, tourists, we are just 10 minutes away from our second destination. I know you are all excited to see the Santo Niño Shrine and Heritage Museum. It is one of the 29 presidential rest houses that the late President Ferdinand Marcos had built. It was built for his wife, Mrs. Imelda Marcos, who was born here in Tacloban City. The shrine contains a chapel that preserves the replica of Santo Niño de Leyte. There are ecclesiastical antiques and art decorations that are assembled by the native daughter herself, Imelda Marcos. You can also see their um, art decorations from different parts of the world such as France, Italy, and Germany. One of the main attractions in the museum are the paintings of the 14 stations of the cross done by Filipino artists. With it as relief of the legend of the first Filipino man woman, si Malakas at si Maganda, tastefully decorated gestures of very Filipino months, images of the Holy Child, a collection of original paintings by Fernando Amorsolo, a spacious ballroom, and priceless collector's items. The 2.16 kilometer long bridge connects the islands of Samar and Leyte. Welcome to the San Juanico Bridge. It is formerly known as the Marcos Bridge in honor of the late President Ferdinand Marcos. It is the longest bridge in the Philippines and it is said to be a gift and a symbol of love by the late President to his wife, Emilda Marcos, who was born and a resident here in Tacloban City during her youth. This project is worth $21.9 million bridge and was constructed to the Construction and Development Corporation which is now the Philippine National Construction Corporation together with the Japanese engineers who conducted the studies and designed the actual project under the administration of President Ferdinand Marcos. The construction lasted from 1969 until 1973. All right, that is our third and last destination. Okay, tourists, it is time to head back off the bus. Once again, hello, tourists. On behalf of Tarana Travel and Tours, we are very thankful for choosing us to be part of this unforgettable trip here in Leyte. Thank you so much. Until next time. We hope that you enjoy this trip with us. Have a safe trip back home and see you in your next adventure. Thank you once again and goodbye tourist. In Humbling Upset Tourist, Tour guides must apply the LAUGH method. LAUGH stands for L. Listen A. Acknowledge U. Understand G. Give solutions And the last one H. Hit home 